the royal couple joined members of the 1st Battalion and their families in observing a minute's silence in memory of the 50 people who died in the Christchurch massacre on Friday. The regiment's annual event then began with a bugler playing the last post before Kate, dressed in emerald green, presented sprigs of shamrocks to officers continuing a tradition stretching back more than a century. The sun shone as Kate handed out the baskets of shamrock with husband William following and chatting to soldiers who then gave the royal couple three cheers. Meghan Markle's second baby shower in UK Kate to attend. Kate Middleton stuns in green on St. Patrick's Day some 350 soldiers gave the Duke and Duchess a march past at the regiment's Hounslow base in West London with William taking a salute recognizing his position as Colonel of the Irish Guards, a role he has held since 2011. Kate wore the traditional Irish colors with a buttoned Alexander McQueen coat and matching floral hat from Locke and Company paired with Gentiva Rossi pumps, while William wore his Irish Guards frock coat. Families of the soldiers proudly watched on amid the blustery cold March wind. Kate and William were reunited with an old friend, Irish Wolfhound Donald the regiment's mascot. They had met the seven-year-old dog on several of their previous visits to the regiment and Kate enjoyed stroking him several times and attaching his shamrock to his collar. Drummer David Murray, Domhnall's regimental handler, said the St. Patrick's Day parade was number one in his calendar and like a second birthday. The mascot, wearing a red coat, was presented with his first shamrock in 2013 and today led the regimental band in parade. Drummer Murray said, We've had a week-long preparation as a battalion, we've had a couple of rehearsals, couple of little bits that we've had to obviously fine-tune. Domhnall he's been in the battalion since 2012, he's pretty good at his job doesn't really need to fine-tune much so in regards to me and him, it's been quite a smooth week. He helps me through the parade to be honest, he knows what he's doing. After the parade and lunch, Kate and William went inside the barracks, where they met soldiers' families and the Duke presented officers of the Irish Guards with medals. Kate was then presented with posies of flowers by six-year-old Jemima and her sister Athene, three. Crouching down to speak to them, she waved goodbye to the siblings before Kate cooed over their 12-week-old baby brother, Rory. Is he a good sleeper? She asked his father, Major Ben Irwin Clark, company commander of No. 2 Company. Oh well enjoy, it just gets better and better," she added, imparting some maternal wisdom as she waved goodbye. Ryan Orr, who has been with the Irish Guard since 2004, brought his six-year-old son Callum to the parade. It is Callum's second parade, having met William and Kate in 2016. The recruitment warrant officer, who lives in Aldershot, joked, he put his hand in Prince William's pint three years ago, didn't you sausage, asked if he was proud of his dad, Callum said yeah, extremely, adding that he was looking forward to meeting the Duchess again. The family later shared a laugh with Kate and William as they recounted the episode. Mr. Orr said, it means a lot because every, St. Patrick's, day we get together. Have a good drink and a catch up at the same time. The battalion's due to deploy to South Sudan and Iraq this year, so it's extra special to get together as one before they deploy. The royal couple then sampled some gynas to mark St. Patrick's Day, before posing with the entire regiment for a portrait. The regiment was founded on the orders of Queen Victoria in 1900 in honor of Irishmen who died during the Boer War. 
The annual St. Patrick's Day ceremony has been presided over by a woman every year since except for 1950, when King George VI presented shamrocks for the regiment's 50th anniversary. The three-leaved shamrock, representing the Holy Trinity, is the regiment's symbol and soldiers traditionally tuck a flower under their helmets while deployed in conflict zones.